second new poll found that of the 14 percent of voters who are not committed to either candidate, 24 percent favor locking down again, but 70 percent say it's time to move on and adapt. Joining me now is the man behind that poll, Scott Rasmussen, pollster and Ballotpedia editor at large. Scott, I've been saying since about April or maybe early May, this is a question between liberty and lockdown. Liberty versus you know, lockdown. Freedom versus lockdown. Um, is that perhaps coming to the fore now? I think the attitude you're describing is coming to the fore right now, but probably not in that terminology. Americans want to find ways. They are frustrated with mask mandates. They are frustrated with over-the-top lockdowns. Still want to proceed with a degree of caution. And for the most part, what people want is to have more authority to make their own decisions. So you might talk about that in, in freedom terminology, but for most people, it's just practical common sense. If I go to a place and I feel uncomfortable, well, I'm going to maybe not go in. If I feel okay, I may take my mask off. They want to have that freedom. And anybody trying to create a nanny state mindset of telling people what they should do, uh, that tends to push these voters away. Um, President Trump made uh, that position on lockdowns clear, obviously, tonight and said this. I left North Carolina, which I love. I left Pennsylvania. We won a big case in Michigan because that governor has a lockdown where nobody but her husband can do anything. He can go boating and do whatever he wants, but nobody else can. The fact is we're winning all these cases because it's unconstitutional what they're doing. And I think they're doing it for political reasons. But the fact is the cure, you can't, you can't let this continue to go on with the lockdowns. Scott, does that messaging work, especially with suburban moms who are seeing what's happening to their children? who are being kept from schools, especially in the area where we live, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, it's been very tough. You know, suburban voters, suburban moms uh, are concerned about this. In fact, uh, the, the desire for more lockdowns and stricter controls is pretty much confined to urban areas and Democratic urban voters. Uh, having said that, um, we're talking about issues, we're only talking about moving a few voters here and there. You said at the open, 14 percent of voters are uncommitted. You know, these might be voters who say they're voting for a libertarian now or who might change their mind to one of the major party candidates. It comes in the context of Joe Biden is ahead narrowly in my state polls and the national mm -hmm. polling we're seeing. But a shift of a couple of points can move this right back into toss-up category. And this is an issue that might do it and that most pundits will miss. Scott, great to see you tonight. Thank you for joining.